Hello guys and welcome back to this episode. Hopefully you join me from the uh, first part of this. Um, I've uh, done a few little things just off and that was just to replace the tyres, rims. Um, I have bought the headlights that I've had to replace and I bought the tr trunk, the boot. Um, and the total value now is two and a half million. That is lovely. Um, this episode is pretty much going to be um, just sort of like getting all the little bits done here and there. Namely, get that out, get the engine done, get the filters done, which I need to purchase. Right, um, I'm going to give it some decent air filters. A decent alternator clutch. Alright, uh, this is where it becomes interesting. Do I upgrade the head? Um, I think it's that one. I think. Yeah, overhead valves. It's not overhead, so it must be that one. Flywheel, yeah, why not? Um, it is gonna need pistons. I do like upgrading the cars, make them go a bit quicker. I'm not sure what it does to the restoration value, however. Uh, I think that'll do. I don't want it to be absurd. Yeah, and why not camshaft as well? Do I need to? Um, not sure even if I need that. Hmm. It would help if I was more mechanically minded. Apologies to any um, mechanics out there. I know I've disassembled it wrong, and God knows what else. But this is something I've got to point out. How many cars can you completely strip down and repair in a single day? Because on this, obviously, this is a game where you can do a lot more in a day than you could ever do in real life. So, it's a simulation, but not quite. Um, I wanted... The uh, there's a turbo there. One of the supercharger. Uh, have I been blind and missed it? Yeah, I've probably been blind. Um, oh, no. No, they haven't got any in there. Right. Get these bad boys in. find getting these out of the way in one shot I uh, instead of jumping onto something else is the best way of doing it and you can always guarantee you've got the right clips well you put the clips in. because no doubt I've probably missed a bushing somewhere Same as suspension. Right, that's those done. Right, time for the fun bit. Stripping down a supercharged V8 engine.
quite a bit for this engine. Which, um, a bit of a pain in the ass, really. Probably gonna need one of them. Um, I needed a couple more camshafts. Um, camshaft caps. Uh, yeah, I needed. No, I don't. They just slot in. Um, hmm. Right. Ah, crankshaft. I definitely need a couple of them. I've been. Yeah, I need some caps. Um. Oh, where the bloody hell are they? Rod cap, there we go. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And I also need some more rings. Piston rings. There we are. You'll come to realise that pretty much every engine I do, I replace most of the engine parts. With either new or restored parts. strip the entire car down even if it is a customer's car. Bit of a waste of time but I always like to leave it 100% bit of OCD. That's what kind of bugged me about um, one of the other cars I did before starting this series. I couldn't get the right seat in it. And it just did not work. Alright, so there is a few things I need. I need the sump pen for it. straight past it. Um, I think I'm gonna need some of them. I'm 90% sure yet so I won't buy it. I have a feeling that the majority of the stuff I've already got is just being a little bit cautious. Ah, it was these, one of these I needed. Um, hmm. Which one was it? I'm not even sure which one it was. Well, it's not the intake manifold, the V8 one. Because we need the supercharged one. Uh, we have, however, got oil pen. Take that. Um, hmm. Like I said, I have a feeling that I've got the majority of stuff to rebuild this engine. Oh, all the small parts. Oh yeah, we did that. Alright, so I am going to need more fuel rails. And Bollocks, I forgot the bloody camshafts again. See what I mean about forgetting things? I'm always doing it. That's why I'm always writing stuff down. Uh, no, I don't need that. Get the tablet. Camshafts. Fuck's sake, camshafts. Ten shafts. There we go. Is there anything else I needed while I'm on here? Fuel rails, DI. Direct injection, I'll take two. Thank you. Didn't 
didn't even realise I needed those uh, thingies until I put the supercharger back in. Okay, looks like I did need the covers, just a couple of things. Should have the belts. Should. More than likely don't, in my luck. Um, main shop. And I've already forgot what I needed. Uh, water pump pulley. That's what I needed. Water pump pulley. For a V8. Is that the right one? Okay, let's just buy that. Uh, what else was it? No, it was a pulley. No, it was, oh, for the crankshaft. That's what it was. And roller B. Was that everything? Did I remember it all? Fuck, no I didn't. Oh my good god, my memory is appalling. Really? Thank God. Oh my God, really? I just bought the wrong bloody ones. I've got one, right? Oh, fuck's sake. There is a lot of things I'm missing. Alright, engine head cover B. I thought I bought the wrong bloody one there, didn't I? Yeah, I bought C, B, that's what I needed. So what the fuck is the difference? I have no idea. Ah. Oil went tight this side. That's the difference. Right, so that is pretty much the entire engine rebuild, just uh, throttle, a few other things which I'll do off camera quickly, then it will be back in and we'll see the value of it. Okay, alright, let's have a quick look quickly. Car value 2.27. Um, that's because it's missing its big bit. And um, install. Right, there we go, one engine. As you can see, I put um, the upgraded throttle body on. Remove that, also the upgraded 
thingies as well. Ignition coil. Let's jack that up to install that. Um, I did buy some more headlights, as I previously said, but I ain't putting them in here just in case I lose them. And I did have some issues with the tyres. Namely, the size that they were wasn't right. It's a weird one, but I'm right. If they filled the rim uh, wheel arches too much to the point where it was obstructive. They had to be reduced down in size. Um, cast status. Global body parts, 100%. So I have remembered everything. There's an engine cover in there. How the hell do I get that on? That's better. Actually makes it look decent. <laughs> Alright, um Assembly. The second set of fucking lights this car's had. Well technically third I suppose. Come on. There we go. Alright, this car is done. Radiator fan housing, really? They were brand new. Alright, global body part condition. So what did I miss on the body? Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, sweet, there's two different wings to it. Alright, car status. Oh my good god! I did not expect that. Restoration value of 272,000 and it's worth 3.91 million. Very nice. Well, that is going to go into the paint shop. Then we're going to go for a quick spin. Again, most of these modded ones don't have a library to go with it, but that's alright. A nice dark blue, I think. Oh, shall I go silver? Cool. That is, um, that's bright. Yeah, let's go for that. This one, mm, probably a bit darker. Nice dark grey. That is almost like a mirror. Alright, global body condition. So what am I missing? Overview. You know there were several bits in that uh, move, what do you think? Oh, I think I might have got. So let's just have a quick gander. I think it's these back bits. Because I've got a lot of additional things that I could do, but... Oh yeah, 
that's a big list. Alright, here we go. See? Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, Ms. Right. Left, rear left fender. Rear right fender. So that must be an exhaust type thing to go on it. I ain't got a clue where it goes. God, I hope I just didn't lose those. Alright, well, uh, this seems to be somewhat of a mystery for me. Oh, thank God I kept the lights. Now it's out of that room. It's actually quite a nice colour. Ah, there. Ah, fucker. Found you. There we go, right, should be 100% now. What? 96. Right, global. So I must be missing something. Wow, I just, um. Remove the fucking lot. Oops. At least it's keeping my headlights this time instead of uh, making them disappear. Right, so I will keep going on the wrong one. Alright, so global body condition is 96%. But I replaced everything, I think. Normal mode. Let's get rid of windows and the roof. What might actually be the problem? Change that to that one. Cut. No, still 96%. Hmm. No. That's a somewhat annoying. Well, I can't see anywhere else I could actually do anything, so, um, yeah, let's just stick with that roof. Well, oh, that's annoying. Very, very annoying. Nice car, but it's not 100%. <laughs> if I have missed something and you know what it is, please... Let me know in the comments. Because my OCD is going mental at the moment. I have no idea. Ah, number plate. Yes! Yes! It was the fucking number plate. Thank God. 100%. Car status. Oh my God. Almost 5 million. Let's go for a joyride. Right, I'm actually going to do the abandoned airport. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, no oil. Son of a bitch. Oh, I always forget something.
Go, 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 go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You might notice I hardly ever check my oil, namely because I know when it's good. See? You don't want a, an engine on maximum, you don't want it on minimum. Happy medium. There we go, sorted. Right, um, I want more dirt for. Lovely, I'll see you there. that for this uh, episode of uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been the McLaren MC12 and hopefully you'll join me on the next one where I'm not sure what car I'll be doing or whether I'll even be keeping this car because I'd really love to get a McLaren F1. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you on the next one.